now to get qualified for the for the Olympics, and this is one of the, of maybe three to four competitions now before the deadline in June to have make sure all horses are qualified for London Olympics. So on we go here. I'm riding two horses, um, stable names Mac and Ace. Here we now are at the start, heading down to the first fence. Ace is on the left and Mac is on the right. As you can see, both horses are quite interested in their job. Their ears are quite looking forward to where they're going. Um, both now are fairly level paced now at the moment. Uh, down to the second fence, there's a the table top there. As you can see now, we have lovely ground here. Um, really quick, fast ground. Heading down now to the third fence. As you can see from my course walk, this is a really, really quick ground and the horses travel really well in that. Uh, as you can see now, we're just the horse just a slight bit big in front. The run's a bit free of me coming down here now at the moment. Grey horse, it's only his second competition um, this year, so I didn't want to push him that hard. Um, Chestnut horse is just Mac running a little bit free at the moment, but I decided now just to let him run a little bit because and he settles into a lovely rhythm then it's easier for him than the rest of the track. Um, as you can see the grey horse, um, Ace is coming on now here nicely to his fence. Jumps the lovely, four strides down to the corner. Straight as the die, both horses were extremely good um, at this fence. Um, a lo nice long straight down now to the next fence as you can see. Mac is, is much up on the pace now at this stage uh, to jump in that fence which is a lovely ditch um, this is taking nothing away from the great horse um, as our second minute marker is coming up and the, um, the great horse was bang on a second minute as well just because Mac runs a little bit more free and I just wanted to settle him into this model so but nice nice tabletop now here for, the, for Mac gets him into his stride um, on down then to the, to the next combination as you can see the chest horse is never out of his comfort zone um, here's quick both horses all the time um, they both have done very good rounds um, very interesting the job the whole way of standing finish um, As you can see, Mac has jumped in the combination there on angle rail and four strides to the corner. As you can see, his ears are quick, constantly watching what he's doing. Same with the grey horse now, who's coming on to it. Lands four strides, just had to squeeze him up for the small bit. Give him a nice pat, purge him and got him to move on again. And as you can see with both horses here, um, Mac has, a, has an extremely high cruising speed compared to the grey horse. And I didn't, the ace now was maybe five, five seconds, six seconds down on his, uh, that was his third minute marker there. And obviously the other horse was six to seven seconds up on his minute marker. But I decided to leave him, leave him run because he was in his comfort zone and he was quite happy to be going like that. And the main object here now for, for ace is to get his, um, get his clear round, so I just left him cruise along, he was quite happy. As you can see, Mac jumped his deck combination very smoothly, and I'm now to his ditch. And here comes Ace, I'm down to it as well, and a nice four, covering four strides. And he now comes back to his ditch. So, I was very, very pleased now with both, both of these horses. They were very interested in their job and they just want to gallop on and do it. Um, as you can see the chest house coming to the next combination now on a bending five strides. Now he jumps to the Now there's quite a difference now in the distance with both horses. But as I said, Chester horses cruising speed is very high and the Grey Horse, I didn't want to push him that hard because uh, I just felt he was just back now to a long three star, so I just wanted to give him a good confident ride 
he'll, ha he'll have another day. As you can see, Max through the water. Very brave. Look at his ears. He never moves in one bit. As you can see, he just turned it back there for a minute because coming out of the water, I just had to seal the man a little bit. On comes down ace to the water. Shake the reins a little bit. Jumps in. Locks onto the, the boat. And two strikes to an acute corner. They were very straight both these horses. And every time you can see him turning his ears back as I'm uh, talking to him there, they look just encouraged to keep going. And they look at a bit of confident ride as well. As you can see, Mac is taking a bit of a hold and he's still running quite free, um, lazy his, his track. I think we're nearly we're halfway around now, coming up to it. So I'm doing a lot of trying to steady him up a little bit. That's just to keep him confident. A bounce and a nice five to six strides. Not really 100% sure. Just rode my line and he's gone on again. As you see, the grey horse is well in his comfort zone. Um, if I had one or two more canters into him before I came to this competition, I would have probably just kicked him on a little bit more now. But I just wanted to get a good, good round, good confident round into him as he will compete again now quite soon. As you can see, the chest horse is locking onto his job, galloping really forward. Here's the love what he's doing. Um, this horse now had a, a year out through injury, missed going to World Games, um, but he's back now and he's, he's competing and he just loves the job. As you can see, the grey horse now is coming down. Uh, just trying to steady him down. Every time you see his ears prick, uh, come back to me, he's listening to me. He's, he's, for what I'm telling him, he's a very, very intelligent horse. He is. So we're coming up now to the next combination. Um, this is the big chicane on four strikes to a, a very narrow skinny. As you can see it there now. My wife came down there and she took a stride out on her horse. So, but not as brave at all yet. You can see the grey horse now coming along here. And um, you're still quick on now to this combination now again. Um, Gives a lovely jump in over the four strikes to his skin. He's a good lad, a good cat and gallop him on. The chest and horse now is just cruising along nicely now. Very, very pleased with him now today. Uh, well in his comfort zone. And he's just, what can I say? I mean, he's just making it look very, very easy for a track that was, that was a bit big. And been by a very good man, man as well in Mac Phillips. So all his tracks do ride big and strong. Both horses, as you can see, very interesting what they're, what they're doing. And look, I was looking now that they 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 didn't really want to go on and do their job. And with a long straight now, we're heading home now here with Mac. Down to the next combination. And it's two strikes for skinny. So jumps that very well and gallops on down now to the next open axle. Ace is coming down now to the next combination. Here still pretty, still still running along nicely. Usually from here on now I'd always squeeze him up and kick for home. Uh, but I made, I made a decision on this house that I just leave him gallop up in his own comfort zone and um, just give him a good confident ride. And I turned out to be the best. This is one of the only good decisions I've made in a long time. On comes the Chestnut Horse uh, Mac now to the last, the second last series combination. Ditch in the back of it. Very upright fence, two strides out over the hedge line. Jumps it very well and gallops away from it. Had a quick look at my watch. He was well up in time, so I just eased him up now as far as here. Uh, just to give him a chance now. I wouldn't make any mistake now coming to the end of the track. Jumps that lovely down to B, out over B, and then four strikes and a triple brush. And ears pricks straight as a die, just wants to go on between the legs. And, on, and as you see, the ace jumps that now very well as well. And just keeping him balanced, keeping him galloping. 
I'm going back to the second last, and I'm now down to the last for him. Uh, give me a, re a real good ride. Grey horse now as well out over the top feet, on four strides out over the skinny. There's no nothing to say about this, only just wanted to get on and jump it. Uh, very, very pleased with my chest and there now, Mac, and pulls up, and one hundred percent sound very, very nice. And comes the eighth, second last, and down to the last. Both horses extremely, jumped extremely well for me, very, very pleased. Six time falls with my with ace, and clear on side to with my with Mac. Very pleased with both horses. Right? Thank <laughs> you.